two sides and equal energy. Being able to come through each side of your horse has a lot to do with um, how successful you're going to be at making that turn. 10 meter circles are quite easy if everything else is lined up, if they have enough energy, if they're pretty equal to two reins and sort of soft to two legs. Um, and so that makes it sound quite simple, but there's a lot of ways or places that all of that can go wrong. And, and most horses and most riders aren't that symmetrical. So that's also another place that um, can make things a little bit challenging. So even with hers, like I will do a few like just in the walk and, um, and just kind of see like how much does her body just come around and be able to follow her head. So like I don't want to over bend her. Um, 10 meter circles actually don't require as much bend sometimes as people think and over bending can be a problem because you lose the shoulders. But what I'm really looking for, whether it's a 20 meter circle or a 10 meter circle line, and there she gets a little behind me and she has one slower hind leg, um, is that like, it should feel a little bit like, you know, like water running through a stream that I can just point the front end and the withers a bit where I want it to go and have both sides of the horse come around and, and follow that easily so that you have the feeling you're turning from the outside, but that the horse isn't, that doesn't mean you're crashing the outside of the horse over the inside of the horse. You should still very much feel like you can ride the horse sort of inside up into that outside side. Um, but again, when you do that, riding them into the outside side doesn't mean falling through the outside side. If I need too much outside rein to keep her from running out the outside shoulder, that tells me that she's not actually following enough like her inside side. Um, you know, even in dressage where like we, you don't want to live hanging on your inside rein or steering just off your inside rein. Fundamentally, like, and I'll do it now, if I can't take this rein and have her turn, like, in a fairly elementary way, then you're, you're starting at a really difficult spot trying to create, like, a 10 meter circle turn. And, like, she turned well enough for me there. She turned a little like a board. Um, she does not bend as well this way as the other way. So right side is her hollow side and left side's her, her stiffer side. But she did like overall give me a good reaction in that like when my left rein said come to the left, she went to the left. So that's a really important thing to just like when you're, you can do it in warm up and just notice like, you know, okay, like how much influence do I have to be able to turn her, or your horse, maybe it's a boy, just by like a guiding inside rein, and maybe I use a little outside leg or a little inside leg if my horse wants to, to fall in. But that like really basically, I can turn, you know, turn the head and have the body follow in behind the head. That is a big place things go wrong a lot. Um, you can see sometimes where people will like turn the head a lot. I'll try and do it and kind of jackknife them out the shoulder. And like, she's being pretty good about it. Like she's still not running sideways, but where you over bend. So the head's going that way and the body's going to the outside. Um, and then that's the spot where you get in and people are like, I can't turn. And, and you know, you'll say like, okay, I need more outside side in that moment, but in a way you almost need an outside side that connects the horse like better to your inside rein, which I realize sounds a little bit um, odd, but you can't, your outside side like can't be there to like stop the horse's weight from going to the outside side. Like the horse's weight has to stay pretty centered in the middle of the body and then you can ride up into your outside rein. When you get to the spot where your horse's weight is crashing through your outside rein and you're kind of having the feeling that you need to cross your 
outside rein over the neck to help you try and steer, then you've, you've gotten into a spot where it's really like a weight distribution issue, like where their weight is crashing too much to the outside. 